It was a slaughter house. It was a shit hole. It was absolutely disgusting, the filth and state of the place. Go down there for a day and you would touch another piece of meat. I could tell you things because I worked down the meat market for 40 years and we used to go to the slaughterhouse twice a week. It's supposed to be you, you know, bump, that's it, bump, that's it. Yeah? Nah. It's not like that, eh? Nah. I know. One down there, Mad Harry, they used to call him, he used to straddle the sheep, heads facing that way. Yeah. Call it a chiller, I suppose. Put it on his nut and go, boss, he was dead. And I said to the governor down there, do that again, that I'll put that chiller in your head, I'm telling you. How long ago was this? About. 35 years. Not much has changed. Like, uh, we do we do current investigations, we leave cameras There's in. money. Yeah. If they can kill 100 sheep for 50 quid... I do it. And they say that it's all this welfare and this and that, but they only do stuff nah, that makes all, it more efficient. It's all bull yeah. Do you know what a vegan is? Have you heard of... Course of I heard, do, yeah. yeah, like they don't eat any animal products like eggs and milk and honey. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good, yeah. Yeah, I've been I, that for I, 10 I, years. I could live with that. You could? You could? Because yeah. I've said to the wife lots of times, and I float. I'm not a lover of meat. No. No. And you're, you're a hater of animal cruelty too. Yeah, so that I love makes... animals. Exactly, and a lot of things happen behind closed doors and what happens if people go in the supermarket, they buy it and they've got no I idea. I'll tell you things, I'll see you down that place. Yeah. Used to make me feel sick. I used to come overnight, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat my dinner, she'd give me lamb chops and I'd just see them, the way they was killing sheep down there. I couldn't exactly. eat it. You made the connection, that's what it's called. Yeah. Where along the line did you lose that connection? Because what can happen is you see well, something I, like I that. left the job. Yeah. Fell back in the old line, going up the pub, having a drink and a corned beef sandwich and all that business. And disconnect, that didn't it? Yeah. That's how people, good yeah. people that care about animals can do... Are you a, a, a vegan? Yeah, for 10 years. I'd say, if you wasn't, go down there for a day and you would touch another piece of meat. Well, I walk into these factory farms with cameras and see the pigs dying on, their floor, on the floor next to their mums in a cage. That's what I'm telling you. That's yeah. what they've done. Club Emma. It was a chisel, but it was about that long. Yeah, Up right. One of these homemade, self-made things. Yeah. Put it on the animal's nut and go, bosh, and you've got to go in an inch. But let me ask you this, is it the brutal nature of the killing of animals that you would have a, an issue with, or do you think it's okay just to kill yeah, them no, anyway? Yeah. Well, uh, I do disagree that killing animals altogether anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short and kill them, there's no need to kill them. Because you know we don't need to eat meat in that, we can have our protein no, you've got all plants, the vegetables, all the fruits. Beans and legumes. And, and everything and... else, yeah. What I need to live on, me and my wife, I could grow on my, my garden. Especially potatoes and that. I, uh, yeah, I you... did a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. But I had operation on my back and my neck and everything else, that's why I've got this thing. From the shop, you can go to your local Tesco, you can get everything you need. Oh vegan. yeah, but I didn't, no, I didn't go back on meat because of this. Yeah. I, I did like a bit of meat. Same here. But yeah. uh, a lot of times when I went down that, I would go down there Wednesdays and she wouldn't cook meat Wednesday because she knew I'd come home. And she was cooking a couple of steaks, they'd go in the bin because... It smells like a slaughterhouse and blood and flesh and it kind of smells like an animal steak like... down here, it was filth. Yeah. Filth. If they put the sheep in there for a month on their own, they'd die anyway because it was just filth. There was blood and guts and you name it all over the place. Do you think it's, anything has changed? Well, well I was going down there for about eight years. Yeah. And nothing changed nothing in changed. eight years. It gradually got worse. About once a month, one of them would get the hose pipe out, get one of the lads, 18 year old idiot, high power rose. Squirt all the entrails yeah, down there. And they were, they'd write dokes. That was about the best job they could get because they're complete idiots, they was. Yeah, and and that's, that's often what happens. Like, slaughterhouses will employ people who have not as many opportunities. But, that's right. And then the general public might point the finger at the person in the slaughterhouse, but they are. They're actually causing that chain to That's happen right. through their They're choices. giving me ammunition and loaded gun up. Yeah, they're only doing it because people want meat, but they That's don't right. want to see the cruelty and the killing and they, they want to care about animals, but at the same time, they want the steak. Well, you can't eat, have both. I don't eat a lot of meat. It's easy to get it out, get it out then, eh? I like vegetables and I love vegetables. I need to because I've had heart surgery and... Yeah, that's it, another point. It's it an interesting right? thing about uh, meat is it raises uh, your blood cholesterol and can clog your arteries. Yeah, and the fat around your heart and it's, <clears> that is, it's, uh, it's it, no good for you at all. It's almost like the animals get their revenge beyond the grave in a way. That's right, get your own back. Yeah, yeah, Down there, when they had the humane pump gun, and it always going wrong. Yeah, yeah. It was a slaughterhouse, it was a shit hole. And the animals have to go through that. Yeah, it's what's all... he doing, this man here? He's shooting. Do you don't you don't want him well, to film? He ain't took my permission, has he? Does he? You don't want it? No, we can. We don't. I'm going to be in the Acne Gazette next week. No, no, no. <laughs> don't bother me. No, I'm I'm joking with you. Ah, uh, you're right, brother. You're a buddy. Here you go. I will show you this one, right? If you look at this, this was made about six years ago, so it's pretty up to date. Land it's, of it's Open Glory. UK yeah. Earth. This documentary here. I've seen it firsthand. I've stood there while I'm talking to a bloke about football. How's Arsenal doing? 
and he's banging chisels in their nuts. So you know. So you know you don't need any convince any they're, further convincing. They're boshing on the floor, and he's he's a young kid there, yep. sixteen, as thick as that tree. Yep. He's he's grabbing them by the back of their legs and dragging them over there. Yep. And throwing them in a heap on a the corner. They're not dead now. They they're bleeding to death. They will be in five minutes. They yep. blood all over the place. Yep. And every ten minutes he said, "Do you get that hose on them?" And he put the hose on them and washed all the blood down and all that. Bit. It was absolutely disgusting. Disgusting, the filth and state of the place. Yep. Disgusting it was. You sound to me like you should uh my wife over there. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're all right. It was great it was great talking to you, mate. Eh? Yeah. Appreciate it, mate. You should uh look into being a vegan. No meat, no blood, no slaughterhouses. Yeah, I know. Keep you strong. You covered it. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I know what you're saying. Peace, brother, thank you. Hey, See ya mate. I personally thought thought that he was very interesting because he was uh a hard man. He was a tough dude, but he had a heart and what he saw really affected him to the point that he stopped eating meat. But then he got disconnected again and just saw meat as meat again. But now after speaking to him, it sort of brought it back up to the surface. Like you can't get a more authentic, genuine bloke who just genuinely was affected. He's got nothing to gain by saying what he said. He just seen something, experienced something that made him have a genuine, emotional, empathic response and he stopped eating meat. But. Maybe we brought that back out of him and you're gonna be a, an old time vegan.